Today I wanted to share with you guys a really neat web browser plugin that solves a problem that I was having. So recently I decided to move away from Firefox as my main web browser. Now I'm one of these people that I typically don't use the same default programs all the time anyway. I have several web browsers installed on my system, but recently I've decided I want to use more of these alternative web browsers. In particular, I've recently introduced you guys to LibreWolf and uh, several months back I introduced you guys to the Brave browser. I really like both of those browsers, but I have some, some issues with those browsers. And one of the issues I had, well, let me just show you in LibreWolf. So LibreWolf, this is a new tab. Now let me click on another new tab. This is another new tab. These are blank tabs. I don't like the new tab feature in LibreWolf just being a empty tab. I like, you know, the way Mozilla Firefox typically does is you have some quick links, some hot links, you know, some uh, bookmarks that you can set for the pages you go to all the time. Maybe you can put a little search bar there. Maybe you can get the time and date or the weather or whatever, you know, the standard homepage kind of thing that you get with Firefox. I was looking for something like that to go in LibreWolf. So I was really looking for some kind of extension that solves this problem. And the one I found was so incredible. I wanted to share it with you guys because it's a really neat extension, but also it's a really neat extension because it works on Firefox based web browsers. It also works on Chromium based web browsers. And this extension is called Tabless. So what Tabless does is it creates a beautiful customizable new tab page for Firefox and Chrome and of course browsers based on Firefox and Chrome which is most web browsers out there. So you can download Tabless for both Firefox and Chrome. So if you have a Firefox based browser like LibreWolf, you can go grab the extension from there. If you have a Chromium based browser, you can grab Tabless by clicking on this link. So let me get back into LibreWolf. What I would do in LibreWolf is I would go to this website, addons.mozilla.org, and then search for Tabless. Well, if I can type it correctly, Tabless, there it is. And just click on that and add to Firefox, which also will add it to LibreWolf because LibreWolf is essentially Firefox. And once you click add to Firefox, you are good to go. And if I click on a new tab here and I'm going to go to add-ons, you should now see tab list somewhere in your list of extensions. Just make sure you turn that on. Tab list is extremely customizable. So let me show you how I have mine uh, customized here. I have weather. So this is the current temperature. This is the well, actually the high of the day, the low of the day. This is the current time. I have a search bar, which is customizable as far as the search engines. You can, you know, search traditional search engines like Google or Bing. Uh, but you, uh, if you want more privacy respecting search engines, you can search DuckDuckGo, Quant, uh, Start Page, and a few others. And then you have the ability to add, you know, hot links, you know, quick launchers, basically uh, bookmarks, if you will. So these are some of the websites that I go to all the time that I just like having on my new tab page because I go to my YouTube page every day, right? Multiple times every day. Same thing with my library page. You know, same thing with distrotoot.com, which is my Mastodon instance. I'm always going to these. So it makes sense to have those links on my new tab page. And to give you an idea of just how customizable this is, let me go in here for background. I have it set to a color gradient because I have so many of these quick links here. And, you know, if I set it to an image, sometimes this white text is not very readable, especially if the image has a lot of white or you know, light colors in it. But if you prefer images, unsplash. And this is, you know, this changes an image every few minutes. You, you can adjust how often it changes the image, but you get these beautiful, these gorgeous uh, nature photographs and things like that as your image. By default, I think the only settings it has or the only widgets it has is the date and it has a widget that basically greets you. It says hello or good morning, you know, I guess based on the uh, the time. Let me show you in Brave. So Brave is a Chromium based browser. I installed the uh, Chromium plugin for tab lists and this is what it looks by default. It's just the time and then a greeting. It just says hello. You can uh, give it your name so it always responds with your name. So hello Derek, good morning Derek, good evening Derek, whatever it happens to be. And of course by default the images are 
are the unsplash images, but again, you can go in here and just start adding widgets. So you go to add new widget, and I could add a new uh, greeting, a literature clock, a message. I could add a, a quotes widget, which is really neat. It's just random quotes here, so that's kind of nice. I actually don't mind having something like that. I could do uh, the weather widget. Of course, I'd have to give my location. I'll turn that off. There's the search box, and if you want to adjust the order these appear, I want the search box, you know, near the top because I'll probably be searching for stuff all the time. And you know what? I want the search box below the time and probably below the greeting as well. We also have a to do widget, which would be interesting. You have the plus sign here, so I could do plus and I could give myself a new to do, such as make a video about tabless. I could hit that and now I have that to do item right here on my new tab page just to always remind me because I'll probably always be you know, clicking new tabs, opening new tabs in your browser as many of us often do. So that's nice to leave yourself a quick note. For those of you that want to play around with the fonts, you can play around with the fonts in all of the widgets. So if I wanted to play with the uh, time font, uh, by the way, the time is set to 24 hour digital. I could set it to 12 hour if I prefer. I can display minutes. I can display seconds. I'll turn off the seconds. That's a, a little bit too much time going on. I can uh, open the font settings here and I can change the font to maybe I want the font to be bold and maybe I want to change the color. I don't know if the, the color actually changes. Yes, so we can change the color if we wanted to, uh, although I think uh, white makes a lot more sense here if I wanted to change fonts. I know I have Mononoke Nerd font installed on my system because that's my uh, default terminal font, so that's the only one I know for sure I have just right off the bat. So let me change to Mononoke Nerd font. There you go. <laughs> there, I just changed that font. Now, obviously, that doesn't look as well as, as the standard font that's going on. So I'm just gonna quit playing with that. I'm just gonna leave that as is. Probably the most interesting widget though is the uh, bookmarks widget. So let me go into add new widget and let's see, quick links is what they call it. So you add the quick links widget and then you go down here and click on the little cogwheel for the settings. You can set the number of columns. For example, remember my LibreWolf, the number of columns I had was five columns. So you can set that to, you know, one, two, three, whatever it is you want. I'm going to set it to one column because I'm just going to add a couple just for demonstration purposes. They already have the tab list uh, URL here, so I will just link, link to that. And I'm going to click add link. And now I have this little link. Uh, icon here, if I click on it, it will expand out to tab list, but we typically don't want to see the URL in those quick links, so uh, is there a way to, it says links are always visible, I could turn that off, ah, because we added a second one, well let's add a second one, let's go to distrotube.com and then distrotube and click on that and there we go. There's tab lists, there's DistroTube. I could of course click on it and it would go to distrotube.com. Uh, and again, the links are hidden. You have the little link icon. Now, if you don't want that to ever be hidden, which I don't, I just want all my links to always show. There is a setting in here, links are always visible. Just tab that on. And now, you know, when you go somewhere and come back, you know, it doesn't have that little, uh, chain icon anymore right so your your links are always there so that was just a, a very quick look at the tab list web browser extension in brave which is a chromium based browser and LibreWolf, which is a firefox based browser now for me I really wanted to show you guys that because it solved a serious problem I was having with LibreWolf. And I know a lot of you guys are probably trying out LibreWolf and you don't like the empty tabs. So really, check out TabList. The other great thing about TabList is it is free and open source software. The source code for it is hosted over on GitHub and it is licensed under the GPL. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Absey, Dallas, Devin, Fran, Gabe, Corbinian, Mitchell, Akami, Arch, 5530, Chris, Chuck, David, the other David, Donnie, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Pick, VM, Scott, Wes, and Willie. They are the producers of this episode. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. I also want to thank each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These guys help support my work. They are supporting me over on Patreon because the DistroTube channel is sponsored by you guys the community if you'd like to support me look for distrotube over on patreon all right guys peace i wonder if tablist works in the links browser <laughs>